Welcome to part seven of my tarot deck collection. I'm Meredith. I'm a professional hypnotist and spiritual life coach. And this channel is all about tarot and an oracle and of course empowering you. So let's get right in because we have a lot of decks to go through. So first we have the Sea Witch Tarot. Now this I backed on Kickstarter. I think, oh, I think, I'm pretty sure. So that's, you know, standard little book. Um, nice box. I like to get right into the cards. So it does have, um, you know, the protective card in front, card in back. And these are the backs. Now this cardstock is very um, kind of plasticky, which I actually like. Um, you know, I don't want it for every deck, but it, it works well with this deck. I find that when I when I riffle shuffle, it does it very easily, but it tends to hold the bend, so I just shuffle the other way, and it's fine. Um, these are the cards. Now this deck, I haven't used a whole heck of a lot. It's kind of like once in a while, I get in the mood for it. But um, I really should use it more. And, you know, you're going to hear me say that a lot. You probably already have if you've seen the other videos. Um, I just have so many decks. Um, but this is, this is a really enjoyable deck. The colors are just incredible. I really enjoy the artwork. It's a very different um, approach with a lot of the standard imagery. So it's super easy to read. Um, but it's it's still different enough to make it interesting, you know? Um, it's, just a, it's just a very different kind of deck while still being very RWS. Um, I love the the size. You can see these are. I'll just show you. So this is about a standard tarot size. So it's um, a little bit shorter, a little bit thinner than regular tarot, um, and I really I really like it. I like the size super easy to hold, easy to shuffle, and I just really like this deck. It's, um, you know, the cards, because of the, the lamination, really glide and, and move. And it's, um, I really like that. You know, sometimes that's what it takes, right, before we'll rest. You ever, um, you ever feel like you're getting sick and then you finally give yourself some extra rest and all of a sudden you feel great? Yeah, that's me all the time. But I do listen, you know, but it usually takes starting to feel really run down before I slow down. Um, you know, but you want to, you want to listen to those signals your system sends you. Of course. So this is this is just a really oh, this is another one I want to leave. You know the problem with doing this is that there are so many decks that as we go through, I'm like, oh yeah, I really need to work with this more. And then I'm like, yeah, I'll leave it by my desk, but now my desk is like covered in decks that I want to work with. Um, but yeah. I think I'm going to leave this one out, too, because I really, oh my god, really like it. It's just got such a nice energy. It's a nice deck. And I haven't used this to read for anyone, but I think I would. You know, it's like everything, it depends, you know, but, um, 
Yeah, I, I think I would enjoy that. You know, I have to be the right person, of course, but I like that deck. So the next, I, I missed one, I think in the, the last episode of this. Um, this is uh, another Dark Sinever, Dark Sinever deck. Now this one, oh, this is Tarot of Unknown Shadows. It's really hard to read. And that's the only issue I have with this deck. Because, so I'll just come with, comes with a little book. Um, it's, it feels really nice. It's so, well, let's get to English. It's so teeny tiny, really hard to read. These backs are just incredible. I love the backs so much, and I don't even know if, if the camera's gonna do them justice, but they're gorgeous. A nice, nice gilding. And I really like these cards. The only thing is, if you wanna try to figure out what it says, it's really a little bit tough. You know, some cards more than others, but um, I love the stack. I love it. It's again, it's a little bit <clears throat> smaller, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely thinner. You know, it's a little bit shorter, and I find this is a really fun size to work with, at least, you know, for me, obviously. And I mean, you don't have to read the time. I mean, you could tell that um, that these are coins, and you could, you could count them, and you can tell from the imagery. So I mean, it's not like it's not like um, you can't use them, even if you can't read it. But it's I wish it had been a little more clear, or maybe just not there at all. I don't know, like. Uh, Kind of, you kind of see it, but I think actually you can see this on camera better than in person. Um, but it's just really like the stack. I really enjoy it. Um, it's very different from my other decks. Love this. Um, yeah. Yes, I don't use it um, a ton. Yeah, I love this card. Um, but every so often I get, you know, a real craving for it. I love this too. And this, uh, you know, it's just, um, you know, and um, wands or umbrellas, which is neat. Um, it's just, it's a charming little deck. It really is. And, uh, you know, the thing about his decks, they're always, always on sale. Or at least I always catch them on sale, which is, which is nice. Um, so you can usually get it for a reasonable price. Um, yeah, I just really like it. I love the way it feels. Love this. This is the shadows card, so it's a different, um, but yeah, it's, it's a great, great deck. I really enjoy working with it. Um, yeah. So next, we have a Kickstarter deck. That this is the Seams Tarot, the Southeast Asian Myths and Stories Tarot. Now this is a collaborative deck, um, so there are a bunch of different artists. Normally, I I tend not to care for decks like that. They just often end up feeling a bit disjointed to me. 
Um, it's just my personal thing, but I, there are exceptions, and this is one. I just want to quickly show you this kind of chunky book. And the nice thing is they give you, well, they give you, um, you know, the, the artist, and then they tell you where the inspiration from the card comes from, right? What legend, and they tell you about it. So I really like that. So this is not giving you like those standard um, uh, meanings for cards. It's giving you the, the stories, which I really like. And then it's got, it does have um, different spreads and things, but it also talks about the different countries, which is really cool. So <coughs> now it came with a few options for some of the cards. So these are the cards that I did not choose. Um, and nothing wrong with them. I just preferred the other ones. Or I, I felt like, I love that card though. I felt like some um, maybe just worked better with uh, the rest of the deck. So let me show you. I love these bags. I mean, look at that. So yummy. Cardstock is nice. You know, it's it's kind of like a um, maybe like a Llewellyn type cardstock. It's it's not crazy thick. It's not super glossy. It's just right, and it's it's um, kind of the perfect cardstock to uh, shuffle. Like if you like to ruffle shuffle. Um, oh, and there's the, <laughs> the title. Uh, that's kind of gory, ten of swords, but I like it. Um, it's got some really beautiful cards and even though like these two cards are so different in style but they just work together at least for me in, in this deck it doesn't it does you know sometimes when there are multiple artists that can feel disjointed and kind of awkward moving from card to card. I don't experience that with this deck. I love this magician so much. Um, yeah, this just, it just all works. It really, really does. And I'm so happy with this deck. I love this too. Um, Yeah, it's, it's really lovely. Oh, I love her. Uh, I love this too. See, I just, I really, really enjoy working with this deck. And this is a deck that I really like doing large spreads with because then I get to see more of the cards. And, and again, they strangely work together, at least strangely to me, because I feel like maybe they shouldn't, but they do. Um, yeah, and I, I enjoy that interplay between the cards. And and again, so different, but it just works. And I really, really like this deck. And I'm surprised. I don't think this was, like, hugely popular. And I don't know why, because it should have been. And maybe it was. Maybe I'm misremembering, but I feel like it was kind of touch and go uh, for funding. Maybe they had a really high goal. I don't remember, but either way, it funded. I'm so happy. Look at that happy squirrel. Say perfect timing. But um, yeah, I love this deck. And I need to, I need to stop showing you the whole deck. But oh, look at the strength though. Come on. I love this. I would love this in a, in a painting or a print love that um, I am a Leo but uh, yeah if, if you would like to see a full walkthrough maybe see how the deck uh, reads you just let me know I am more than happy to, uh, to show you but so that's the seams tarot and it's it's just really lovely. So 
next we have one of my all-time favorites in two versions this is the saucer Beta tarot now this I don't know if it says I was just looking for the version this is an earlier ish version oh it's not that early uh, number six printing six um, so I've heard various things about cardstock uh, being different and changing and I know they're matte now mine um, are not matte and I may have to pick up a new version but I did get the mini or the portable and this one is matte so just kind of see the difference but I actually like the glossy on this I mean it's pretty glossy but the cards just move so nicely there's just something so wonderful about this deck and this is a deck that originally I said I am not going to use this to read for anybody ever um, just for me, you know, um, but I have relented. This looks so much like my little cousin, I can't even tell you. Um, this is just, oh, this is one of my favorite decks. And I love everything about it. It reads perfectly. Love, I love this so much. Um, It's just absolutely, oh no, I'm losing cards. It's a fabulous, fabulous deck. <sighs> Told you they move easily. But, um, it's just it's such an interesting card. It, it's wonderful. It's really wonderful. I love this three of swords. So finally, finally, it's not just a heart and some swords and the thing that I like about this one of the things I like about this you know she's she's stabbed through but she's not she's not like bent over she's not wailing in agony she's still upright you know it's <laughs> you know a lot of times people will see the three of swords and think oh no it's you know the worst thing ever and it's really not that bad anyway but this card I feel just um, I think it's a really good representation, and um, I I love this deck so much. This is this is one that that reminds me of Freddy Krueger. It just I just love it. I just love it. I can never not have this deck. Um, I use it a lot, like a lot. Um, and I love every everything about it. So just so you can kind of see the mini, it is it is a little bit newer. I don't know when it came out. Um, it just popped up in my Etsy suggestions one day. So I was super excited. I bought it immediately. Um, and you know these are the cardstock on this is is interesting. It's it's very kind of thin but it's durable but you know it I don't know what it is but it feels really nice it shuffles really really nicely and um, yeah again this is a fabulous deck and I love that this is tiny because it's great for like if I do zoom readings and I want to do a larger spread it's great for just popping in my purse and, and taking it with me and in fact this is one that I take with me a lot um, and before I got the mini size, I was taking the big one. So, um, my shoulders are really happy to get the smaller, smaller size. So that's Saucer Abito, and, um, one of my all-time favorites. And I will always, always have this deck. Um, I may start using it more for other people. 
feel like it's it's maybe time for that. Um, yeah, like I said, I've been I've been a little bit, but I feel like maybe it's time to do more. Now this one is actually not an independent deck. I always think that it is though. There might be one or two others that kind of slipped into this, but I love this pouch. And of course this is the Shadowlands Tarot. I love this deck. I love it. And you know, the quality is so good. Um, I think that's why, or at least that's a big part of why I think that this is independent. And um, Monica, oh my, I'm so sorry. And if I attempt her last name, I know I'm going to mess it up. But Monica, sorry for being so familiar, um, does have other decks that are independent. So I think that's part of why I forget. And again, because the quality is so fabulous. Um, yeah, I love this deck. This is a deck that's absolutely great for Halloween. Oh, I love this. But it's great for it all the time. I, I use this. You know, anytime, every time, doesn't matter. Um, I tend not to use it for other people unless it's around Halloween or, or there's like a theme thing going on. Um, but it, it reads beautifully for other people. So, I mean, I, I could absolutely expand on that. Um, I just, I love that. This is such a great deck. And, you know, it's been around for a long time. I'm sure it's familiar to most people. I love them, too. I just, man, I love this deck. Um, it's just fabulous. It's absolutely beautiful. I love the artwork. I love the colors. Um, I love everything about it. And I know some people don't like this type of gilding. I like it. I haven't had any issues with it. And I riffle shuffle this. And uh, no problems at all. It's beautiful. I love this. So, yeah. It's a great, great deck. Um, look how beautiful that is. It's just wonderful. It's quirky. It's cute. Reads super easily. Um, and actually, I feel like this deck... Um, could be good. I mean, look, here's the deal. If, if a deck draws you in and, uh, you know, if you, if you want to read with the deck, that's the deck for you, right? Even if you've never used tarot before, I don't care what deck it is. If it sparks your interest, it's going to be a good deck for you. That said, I feel like this is such an easy read. It would be good for uh, for someone new to tarot. Now the next one isn't exactly a deck. This is uh, Stardust Tarot Dice. <clears throat> this is from Kickstarter. Um, so you can see it's got symbols for all the cards and um, I don't use this a whole lot um, partly because I really like the cards but I'll tell you I really like dice too um, if you if you saw my my Dungeons and Dragons tarot review you may remember I am an old school D&D uh, &D nerd so I, I do enjoy dice um, I really should bring this more, honestly, and just kind of tote it around, and um, because it is so portable, and I think that's that was what I envisioned when I backed it, and I just never really did, and I don't know why, um, because I should. So, and I, I think there is actually, if I can get it, Binks. Sorry, my cat wants to join in. Oh, oh, it's a bit fuzzy. I think, I think one of my cats had a 
seat, but there is actually um, a drawstring pouch. It's kind of it's kind of thin. And I would put them in a better pouch personally. I mean, it's okay, but um, yeah, I don't use it a lot, but again, it's one that I should. So next, this is a limited edition Forest Creatures Tarot. I don't know, I don't know if there's something specific that makes it limited or just, you know, the deck is just limited. I don't, you know, I don't know if it's like a special version. I don't think it is. And this is a beautiful deck. It comes with just a, um, well, forget reading that. I don't think I ever looked at this, honestly. But I mean, I, I hate when they do that. Like, just do a simple white background and put it in black text that people can read. That's all I'm saying. But that's okay because look at those backs. Now this deck is um, very different from what I would typically uh, gravitate towards. It's, you know, it's that um, photo or, or photorealistic or you know, whatever, um, tends not to be my thing, but this deck is so pretty, I just, just wanted it, um, don't use it all the time, but when I do, I really enjoy it, it, you know, it's got that, the kind of earthy fey vibe, which is nice. Um, I like some cards more than others. I like this hermit. Um, but it, as a whole, they all work together. And it's just loveless. It's just a really nice deck. The card stock is really, really that that soft, smooth, buttery kind of card stock. Love her. Um, yeah. So I, I really like it. I tend not to use it for other people. I think I feel like it's it's maybe a little too like. kind of like um, movie trailer kind of um, <laughs> I don't know I don't know it just um, maybe it, it's that that photorealism thing just throws me off and I don't mind it working with it on my own but I don't know I, I don't know I, maybe I feel like other people aren't going to respond to it because of that. Um, but it's a beautiful deck. It really, really is. It's just, it's very, very different from my other decks because of that. But um, it shuffles really nicely and it's just, it's really nice. I just like it. Um, so, you know, I don't reach for it all the time. But... Um, when I do, I mean, it's super easy to read with. It, you know, it didn't take any time to, like, get to know. I mean, it, it's easy. Um, so, um, because of that, it, it's no big deal if I only use it occasionally, you know. Next, we have the Broken Mirror Tarot. And this is another Kickstarter. I love that. This is one I never looked in here either. Um, oh, maybe I should. <laughs> it's kind of cool. So it's it sounds like a. Isn't this terrible? I've never looked in here. I'm so bad about. Um, 
about with my guidebooks. I really have to fix that. So this is great. It reminds me of like a choose your own adventure. So like the fool, you come to the first window. It says wandering. You look up, a traveler is walking. Where is he going? You asked him if he is going to the sun. He told you he is going to the Republic. You don't understand. You ask him how he lives without a guide. He laughs at you as you worry too much as his old, as his old dog. He says there will always be a way. It's not in front of you. It's under your feet. You think his travel is too blind. He thinks you are too timid. That's an, this is, I'm sure, a translation. That's why some of it was... But, but that's true. I'm, I'm going to read that book. But these are the backs. Look at that beautiful... And these cards are lovely. Now, the, the, they have a new edition that's on Kickstarter, I think, now. So if you're interested, um, you can grab it. I don't know what the differences are, but I do know they make every edition a little bit different, at least. Cardstock's nice. It's um, maybe linen. Probably linen. Terrible with that, but... Um, you know they don't they don't really bend you know like they'll bend and bend right back is I guess what I'm trying to say um, great for riffle shuffling <clears throat> love this and it's uh, this is a charming duck don't use it a huge amount, honestly. Um, but now I'm going to read that guidebook. And dang it, so this is going to have to be kept out of my desk. For at least a little while. Um, and just, oh, I love that. Um, and, and just use it maybe through the eyes of the guidebook for a little while. Um, but I, I do really like it. And it's it's a bit intricate at parts. Um, and it's I feel like it's a little smaller than a standard tarot. Just the teens. Just the teens. But it, it does have those borders too. <clears throat> so I feel like this is a deck that would have benefited from a larger size just so you can really um, see those details that um, I think too because the colors are not always very contrasting and I think that makes it more difficult just for me I mean you may not but I mean you can see the major the major um, details for sure. It's just certain things um, are kind of harder to to see for me. But it's really, really a neat deck. I love that card. Yeah, actually, I love, where'd that go? Yeah, I love the strength card too. So that's the, the the broken mirror tarot, and again, I'm pretty sure it's on Kickstarter right now in the newest edition. So if you're interested in that, check it out. All right, this one. Now this one was mass market, but it's out of print, so I guess it, it fits in here. Or at least that's where it is. So this is the Yolanda Tarot. And this deck... Um, this deck I, I bought from someone who was... You know, was ready to let it move on. And it's a really... 
interesting deck. I'm so tempted to trim it. Even if I just trim, you know, the white parts. Kind of. I'm really... Mm, if, if this wasn't out of print, I would totally trim it. But I do feel like I probably shouldn't. Um, so I haven't. So I haven't. But, um... It's a, it's a really interesting deck. I love it. But, um, and I really enjoy it. This is one I, I just used for me. Um, and I just, I just love it. And I don't actually mind the borders. I should say that it doesn't, um, they're big. They're really big. But they don't bother me. They're, uh. I don't know, I like the color, you know, and I feel like, um, like it's an A2 intuition, you know, so I'm okay with it, but I, I am really tempted to just, you know, just to get that unusual size, that's probably, you know, but, um, yeah, I really like this deck, um, and again, it, it was mass market, so it may end up. I love that. May end up coming back at some point. I have no idea. Um, but if it does, I highly recommend checking it out. Or if you, you know, you never know. Sometimes decks like this, you could find in like a used bookstore. Or, um, oh, I love this too. Um, so yeah, so so keep your eyes open because you never know. But um, yeah, I I found someone online who was just ready to let it go. So I picked it up. And next. One of my favorite, favorite decks is the Spacious Tarot. Now this beauty. Oh, I love this deck so much. I edged it. This is just... The cardstock is just perfect. I love the cardstock love the art, the imagery. I love how it, it just takes you in there, right? And just puts you into that moment, into that space. And I just find this to be a really powerful, powerful deck. It's incredibly evocative. It just, oh man. And look at, look at just at the water. It's really just incredible and this is this is one of my all-time favorites I, know I have a few of them but you know I love this so much and it you know every card you can just feel the energy so clearly and you know I think this would be another deck that would be really good for someone just starting out with tarot because I think it is so immersive and and you can really just feel that energy so strongly. I love this. It's um yeah, it's it's one of my absolute favorite decks. Look how beautiful. Love it. It's very, very smart deck. I feel like I did this one before. I hope I didn't. But maybe I did use it the other day, so maybe that's that's one thing. Look at this. That's just fabulous. Uh, yeah, so this is one of my favorites. And I love it, and it's beautiful and wonderful, and it's a pleasure to shuffle and hold and 
look through and you know these are great cards too if you just want to meditate if you just want to pick a card and and focus on that and meditate with it um that's a it's a great deck for that now we have the threads of fate the weaver tarot this is the journeyer edition so this deck is super pretty great quality it must have come like that I don't think I did that although maybe I think it came etched these are the backs super super pretty the problem with this deck because I do have have a problem is it's hard to see um, and I think I, I heard someone say see you gotta kinda I don't want to have to pick up every card and you know move it around just to try to see what's there um, I think I, I heard someone say that if you read by candlelight it shows up better so I may have to try that, but I think, I mean, when it, when you can get it in just the right light, it's so pretty, but I may have to, um, I may have to try the candlelight thing and see, but honestly, I almost never use it because it's such a pain to, to see anything. Um, and that's a problem. I did see a version of this that had a darker background and it seemed to pop a lot better so but man when you when you can get it to shine it's just great so I don't know so maybe the the darker edition I don't know if it's still around I don't you know but uh, that might be a better choice for me personally um, but wow this is a beautiful So yeah, I don't know. I, <clears throat> you know, really what it boils down to for me is, it's like, do I want to strain to try to read? This is a great card, though. Do I want to strain to try to read a card, or do I want to pick up something that is vibrant and and I can read comfortably and easily? So I pretty much never pick this deck. Um. So yeah, I I think I will try it with uh, candlelight and, and see if that makes a difference for me but if not I think this may have to go only because I know it's just I mean sitting here it's just it doesn't you know it's hard to say it's hard to see and you know it's a problem so Maybe someone with better eyes or better lighting or, you know, would, would do better with this deck. But, um, I mean, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I wish I could see the cards better so I could really read with it. Um, and I can't, you know, I could you imagine if I had, um, if I was doing a reading for someone and I'm trying to, um, what card is this? I just, I can't, you know. So, this one is gonna be on that maybe to go list. Only because I have such a hard time seeing it. Next is Odin's Playbook Tarot. And this was a Kickstarter. Pretty recent. Um, The guidebook is written as a story, which is pretty nice. Um, I, I like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Box is nice. If you can read. It's cute. The 
these are the backs, which are beautiful. I love this beautiful matte blue on the edges. It's just wonderful. So this is a really, really nice deck. This is one that I went back and forth before backing. I wasn't sure if um, if the artwork really appealed to me. Like it, it appealed to me, but I was like, eh, is this something I'm really gonna use? Cause I'm, I'm trying to um, to limit myself to decks that I'm pretty confident that I'll actually use. And, and not just because they're really pretty. Oh, here's the runes. Um, but I, I like it. I really do like it. it um, it has a really nice flow to everything. Um, I did, oh, this is beautiful. I love this card. Um, love this one too great card stock I and mean, this is this is a really nice deck this is so much better than I anticipated and that's always great you know when like I said when I saw it on Kickstarter I was kind of charmed by it but I was like eh, I don't know if it's really for me um, that's really what it was was you know is this a deck that that's going to really ultimately appeal to me. And it absolutely does. Look at that. Um, and it's just so much nicer than, um, than I expected. And it's just a really... Look at this. It's just a great deck. I really like it. I haven't used it a ton yet. Um, <laughs> but I will. I really will. Um... I just, you know, this came when a lot of other decks came, and it's on the list. So, and they do give you a list of, of the runes um, that are used in, in the deck. And maybe just one more. So this... Uh, I like this deck, um, but the name. So uh, I can't read it on the box. Um, I can't read it there. All right, here's the name. El Dios de los Tres. Trey. I'm so sorry. For my lack of foreign language education. I love these backs. So I took French in middle school and I think just one year in high school. And I took German in college. So I remember virtually nothing of French. German I can understand if the person speaks really slowly and um, yeah don't use uh, well, I can't say big words because a lot of words in German the big words are small words put together um, it's easier to read German for me than to listen to it um, but anyway this is this is a really neat deck. I like this deck. Um, this is a deck that you know travels around with me. It's it's really portable. I'm almost tempted to, to trim it, but I don't want to cut any of this. So I was thinking I would edge it in this pink and let it bleed, like really bleed to get because I just don't like the white on here. I, I feel like it takes it away. Um, so yeah, so I may do that. I haven't yet, obviously, but um, it, it's a very interesting deck. Um, it just, it, it's beautiful though. 
It's beautiful. There's a lot. There's a lot going on. A lot of different themes. Um, that's really interesting. And with the lovers. Um, yeah, it's just... if <laughs> To me, this deck is like... People are like sitting in a room saying, what more can we put into this deck? And some guy's like, oh, you can't add that. And they're, they said, oh, bet. And they just start adding stuff. It works. Don't get it. It's, it's not a criticism. But <laughs> there's just so much of so many different things going on. Um, it's really enjoyable. Um, but it's just kind of funny. In, not in a make fun way. This is a fun deck though. You know. I just feel like. It's just a fun deck. I really like it. I really, you know, it's just. I just like it. Um, it has a lot of character, this deck. It reminds me of like a, like a fun house or a circus. Um, <laughs> it's just, it's just a trip. It's a really, really neat deck. I don't use it super tons, but I do use it, and uh, I really like it. So, um, let me know what you think. Is you know, is this a deck that, that you use, and if so, how do you get on with it? And uh, let me know what you think of of the other decks. You know, do you, do you do you like them? Are you interested in them? Do you have them? Do you want them? And uh, like, share, and subscribe because every single one counts. And of course, you count. You count most of all. And I appreciate you. I appreciate you being here, taking your valuable time to spend a little time and, and share a little time with me. So until next time, and we have at least... Yeah, we have at least two more parts to go. Until next time, be good to yourself because you deserve it. You deserve only the best, all the best.